Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a Chrome extension called Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Recorder to capture your screen. Stay tuned. A lot of people in the past have asked me how you record and capture your screen, and there are actually dozens of ways from applications and software, and also an exploit broadcaster. We did a video on that showing you three ways to capture screens before. But today, this is actually a Chrome extension called Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Recorder, so let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. Make sure you go to the Chrome store. It's chrome.google.com. In the search bar, you want to type in Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Recorder, and this should come up here. This is a little icon they have here offered by NimbusWeb.me. And look at the star rating here, uh, 4.6 out of 5, over 12,000 ratings. So I think this is going to be some really good software to use for content creation, screenshotting and both uh, recording as well our screens. So looking below here, in the overview, you can screen capture the whole or partial screenshots. You can also edit and annotate, screen cast, record screen and your webcam, trim and crop, uh, convert to GIF or MP4, quickly upload and share. Screenshot capturing down here, you can read more if you want to. Looks to be about 40 megabytes or so. Last updated about a month ago, so that's not bad. Looks like it's been pretty much uh, kept up with here as far as updating goes. Um, looks like it stores the files to the cloud here. And then once you record or capture them, you can download them to, of course, your computer or to your phone, it looks like as well. So it looks like a really good tool. Let's use it. We're going to add to Chrome. All right, add extension. So I've never used this particular Chrome extension before. I do use screen capture software. Right now I'm using something called Screen Omatic. So if you're interested in that, do check this out as well, called Screen Omatic, and I pay for it. It's about 48 bucks, I think, for a year, and it works really well for me. But uh, if this works better, I may have to switch over. Um, I just can't really show you Screen Omatic because I'm using screen capture software right now to capture this. So it would be kind of hard to screen capture the screen capture software. <laughs> All right, it's installing. All right, and here we are. Cool. So they gave you some tutorial videos here have how to capture screenshots and record screencasts, all that stuff too. That's pretty cool and handy. All right, so we're going to click on the little icon over here, and this will actually kind of launch the application or the extension. And then we have over here the little menu. So visible part of the page, we can capture that. We can also capture fragments, selected areas being very specific, uh, selected and scroll, entire page, delayed screen, that's kind of nice. A desktop screenshot, blank screen, or record video. So the action after the capture, you can go right to editing it. Uh, you can send it to Nimbus, which I'm guessing is their cloud service. You can send it to Google, I'm assuming like Google Drive or something like that, Dropbox, uploading, or downloading. So I guess we'll just do um, send to Google. That could work. I, I you know what, let's actually just choose for the tutorial today, we'll do download might be easier to find for ourselves. So let's test a few things out here. Let's just do a desktop screenshot. Share your screen. Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Video Recorder wants to share the contents of your screen. Choose what you like to share. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of choose what you want to share and what you don't want to share. So the Chrome tab, we can choose the entire screen what it's seeing right now basically or an application window and I have of course a uh, voice meter I have uh, Chrome and also my screen recorder going as well so we could choose that I kind of like how you can break it down that's really really handy let's just do the entire screen here we'll click on that and we'll click share all right and boom it took a screenshot and now it wants us to save and download this which we can so we'll save it into download folder and click save cool it saved it let's actually uh, check it out see what it looks like go to show in folder here's our screenshot we downloaded and boom there it is so that was really cool and easy to do i actually liked 
how you can kind of choose the different tabs you have open or the applications or the windows. So that's really, really handy for capturing specific areas of your screen just with that one click of a button. Because like me and like you probably do too, you probably have a lot of tabs open, a lot of things on your desktop. You don't always want to actually capture all of those at once. So you can kind of be very specific here when you're capturing and doing a screenshot. That's cool. I like that a lot. All right, get rid of this screenshot. Just going to delete that off of there a while. Oops. There we go. Delete. Okay. So go back to Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Recorder. Let's click on a delayed screen. So it counts down three, two, one, and it takes a snapshot. That's cool. So it stayed on the same setting we had before, which was what I chose, just the current desktop screen. So we're not going to save this because we already saw what the picture looked like before. Uh, cancel that. That's cool. So you can kind of delay it, kind of like you know taking a snapshot uh, and putting a timer on the camera. Same kind of thing here. That way you can get something ready on screen if you have to, or play a video or something and pause it at a certain spot, and then you can click that button and it counts down three, two, one. That's really handy entire page whoa okay I got you there that was interesting uh, so that just screenshot of the entire um, web page we're on right now which is nimbusweb.me so what this did was it took all of the screen it captured this part that you see on the screen right now and also the part that we have to scroll to it captured all of this you saw it kind of cycle through the page here, and that's all captured now in one image. So let's take a look at what it looks like. I'm very curious what that looks like right now. All right, and there it is. Whoa, look at that. That's really cool. So we can actually zoom in here on this. We have one large image now here of the entire screen. This is great for doing tutorials, by the way. Um, Look at this. So we have this entire web page we're just on for Nimbus, telling us how to do the screenshot capture, which we're testing out right now. And it did the entire web page, even the contents we had to scroll down to see, it did it automatically for us. That was really cool. I was kind of wondering what it was doing there, and uh, it did that. So I like that a lot. Really cool feature. And again, this is totally free. I'm not sure if there's a paid version to this. Um, if there is, I don't know about it at the point at this moment, but we'll see. All right, so that's cool. Back to the little menu up here. Again, this is all accessible up in the Chrome tab. So look for the icon that says Nimbus and go ahead and capture your content. All right, so we'll just do a selected area. This is kind of like a snipping tool here. You can kind of select by dragging and letting go. Then you can check mark and save. And it saves that, of course. We saw that before, we'll cancel out of that. That's very similar to the window snipping tool or other screen capture tools. Let's see here, captured fragment. So this kind of hovers over certain fragments on your screen, whether you're on a web page, that's kind of neat. So it gets certain elements here, like the, the video here, it gets that, it gets titles, it gets the text in a block, that's kind of cool. Let's test this out down here. We'll get just this block of text here. That's kind of cool, you can actually click this here, and then you can save as a PDF, you can print, uh, go to Google Drive right away, send to Nimbus, quick upload. So we're going to click on Capture Fragment. So I'm going to click on this. And once you click on the fragment you want to, of course, save, it scrolls down to the checkmark box to save. So it's saving it now. And let's see what it looks like here. I'm gonna save and look at this again. It's going to want to kind of test out this Captured Fragment again and see what it looks like. Let's open up, and there it is. So we captured that long fragment there. All right. All right, so I totally do recommend checking out Nimbus uh, Screenshot and Screen Capture, uh, Screen Recorder. Uh, so do install it, check it out, test it for yourself, see how you like it. It's a lot of options though, which I like a lot. Let's see what the recording function's like, because I think that's probably one of the most important features, is actual recording of you know screens for tutorials and presentations. The capturing and screenshotting is really good. The tools are nice and really easy to use, but I think the most important component, of course, is recording video. So let's click on this here. All right, so we have some options then. We can record mic sound, that's good to see. You can also check that off, that's kind of cool. 
uh, record tab sound, record webcam. You can also do drawing tools, so that's really good for tutorials or presentations. You can also add your watermark too. So adding a watermark, uh, what you can do here is looking, uploading like a logo, I guess, or your watermark over what you're recording, which is a really handy feature. And then you can uh, unput that anywhere you want on the screen, from the corners here or even the middle. And you can make it smaller or larger and also change transparency down here too for that. You can also add a text watermark if you want to or disable the watermark after so much time. So it kind of shows up in the video initially, and after that time's up, it disappears. So one minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, five, or one second. That's really handy features, I like that a lot. Bunch of settings here for saving, formatting as well, screenshot settings. So these are the shots um, for capturing the still screenshots. There's also menu settings here, and hotkeys for controlling things too. So. Uh, you don't always have to go up to the menu here. You can just use some of the hotkeys to control some of the screenshots and screen recording too, which is really handy features. So if you're gonna be installing this and using it, I'd probably recommend um, looking at the hotkeys here and adjusting them to what you need. So those are all the settings and the video settings here. You can enable instant record, record to GitHub, enable quick recording. So you can decide what it does when it's saving as well. That's really cool. So that is the settings area. Back to record video. So that was the settings menu that we were in. Just wanted to take a look at everything there. So again, we have some settings here then too for recording video. We saw the watermark earlier on. There's also video settings here. You can change the audio bit rate, video bit rate, uh, frames, countdown as well, kind of like the timer with the regular screenshotting. Uh, webcam settings, of course, and mic settings here. You can do 4K, Full HD. We'll just do HD 1287.20 right now. So lots of settings here. I do like all of the options. This is actually a fully fleshed out and professional screen capturing tool. I like this a lot. Okay, so we're actually uh, using Nimbus Screen Recorder right now to capture and record this tab. What's cool is if you decide just to record uh, one of the tabs, there's a little icon in the upper right here of the tab. You hover over, it says this is actually being captured by Nimbus. So that's really cool. We have the webcam up. If you use my laptop's webcam up here, I'm not quite sure if we can choose which webcam. I do have a Brio over here as well, but I'm not sure where to choose that or if we can choose it at all. So it's kind of defaulted to laptop cam, which is okay for now. And of course, uh, I'm not sure what mic it's using. Hopefully it's using this one here, but it could be using a laptop mic. I'm not quite sure. Again, I didn't see any kind of settings for choosing a particular microphone either, but right now it is recording and it's capturing this tab, which is a cool thing to do again. If I switch tabs now, you should not see when I switch tabs. I'm actually on uh, right now, my Etsy store browsing. So you should not see that on screen, hopefully. When I play this back, hopefully that is right. We'll come back to the tab now where I'm recording and scroll through it. So very cool though. So you can do specific tab recording, uh, or of course desktop to your entire screen or certain parts. So pretty cool features here. Again, this is the first time for me using this software. Uh, so I'm pretty well surprised by how powerful it is for being free uh, for screen capturing and screenshotting. Both of those are very, very well done here with a Nimbus. So we'll click stop here. So there you have it, another resource and tool you can use to capture your screens and also record them as well for tutorials or presentations, whatever you need them for. Make sure you hit the like button for this episode. Give us your comments below and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for The Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.